electric meat grinding. Grinders, whether electric or mechanical, have a shape like this. This allows meat to get forced up into that groove and is pushed out by an auger as the thing turns. This is an auger. It has a square drive. Hobart standard is just the opposite. You have a square peg on the auger that fits into a female receptacle on the drive unit. This is just a generic Chinese drive unit. Stainless top, meat goes in the hole, pushes down into the throat, which is picked up by the auger and pushed towards the front. This is a blade. Fits a little square dude like that. To grind, you have to finish the unit. This is a kidney plate or a stuffer plate. It actually is not intended to grind. It just acts as a front bearing for the auger to sit. In each case, no matter what plate you use, you'll have to secure it with a nut. So to build one, I'll show you. Uh, these things are available in different sizes and different materials. This and this are carbon steel. This is a single-sided plate. This is a single-sided stainless plate. These are stainless, double-sided. You can use them either side. They range from eighth inch to half inch. The way you put these things together, and I'm just going to use this size, generic size, slide that on. Take your nut and screw it on. Today I'm going to grind up a couple of pork butts to make pepperoni with. Here's what we're going to grind. This is 16 and a quarter pounds of Boston butt. 99 cents a pound. It's not a bad price. We're going to grind it up and when we feel under here, see we've got a bone. We're going to, have to debone this. And right on the other side, exactly in the same spot, is the other bone. This is a left and a right. We feel in here. See, we've got a bone right here, and then we've got the other bone right there. Left and right. We're going to debone them and grind them. Now, there is one of the two deboned. And what it ends up is, the other one is going to be the mirror image of it, so you're going to find the bone where it was here is going to be on this side. Now I'm going to try to get a shot with a camera. I don't know how successful it will be. If you don't see it in the video, you know it wasn't a very good job of, of showing you. But here's the bone, and this is what it's shaped like. You just got to trim around the bone with your boning knife until you release it. It's really a small piece up in the corner of the butt. The rest of it is boneless. Let's see if I can get this on camera well enough to uh, post. Here, this little groove, this little, this little hole is right here. And the bottom side of this goes up and around. That goes up and around here. And then the back side of it, the plane goes back down like that and that goes back this way. And right in through here, the bone is, that's that portion right there is right there. So we're going to try to remove it as best we can. I want to set that bone aside to see so I can probably uh, get as much as this as I can. You just want to take your boning knife, follow that edge. Go up and around. See, it's going to go back as far as it goes. It's not a very deep bone. Go up underneath it. Feel the bone as you go. Come around the edge. Go down around the tip. It's a little more difficult trying not to move it so that it stays within the camera's viewpoint because I'm on the tripod. And trying not to catch my finger 
in at the same time. There we go. Now we're going to cut this across this way to make the feeds that we need to go into the grinder. Now you can trim off the fat if you want to save some of this for going into deer sausage. It's not hard. You just cut off large amounts of chunks of it. So that's quite a bit of fat right there. Or you can grind it with the fat in there. Really, it's really your choice. I'm going to take a little bit of fat off of here. Cutting away from my little old body. And I'm not going to take a lot away, just a little bit. Reposition it. I'm going to do that with the other one as well. And that way, when it comes time, that way when it comes time, I have a little bit of fat saved up for my deer sausage making. With a little bit of fat removed, I'm going to save that for sausage making. Then you just simply cut the meat down. That's small enough to fit in your grinder. If you got a very small grinder, a piece like that's not going to fit in it. But that'll fit in mine. And the reason you cut it like this, I found that it helps the fat be distributed in the grind because you don't want huge amounts of fat in one big spot and then the rest of it lean so what I'll do is I'm going to cut this up like this you don't need to watch all that because you got the general idea now what the grinder size has to do is just the size of plate here the diameter on your unit but it also is something you need to think about when selecting the grinders how small a pieces do you really want to have to cut your meat into in order to accommodate your machine? The larger the machine's plate is the larger the throat. The larger the throat means the bigger pieces of your pork and deer and what all can be as you feed it through. And that will save you time as well as just a pure raw processing power of what how many times that auger turns a minute. Now it's time to grind. So what we'll do is we'll take the bowl and we'll start to dump it up top a certain percentage of it and if not all and then we'll push her through and the grinder is going to grind it not real exciting not real high tech secret is keep your fingers out of the machine and obey all your safety rules that your manufacturer suggests There is 16 pounds of Boston butt ground. What I'm going to do next, put this into the refrigerator so it can be in the refrigeration for say food handling practices. And we'll break this unit down, I'm going to clean it up, and then we'll put the parts in the dishwasher, and then I'll come back and do the mixing and spicing and all that. And uh, I may cut the video off right here because if you're interested in seeing how pepperoni is made, you can go and find the pepperoni video. I try not to try not to take too much of your time up multiple times but this really was about the grind deboning and grinding of uh, two Boston butts I've shown you that you ought to be able to do it now uh, good luck and uh, we'll see you later goodbye